I'm Kim the Abundant Traveler and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I give travel tips and guides and inspire you to get out there and go see the world. If you're a subscriber, thanks so much for stopping by. It is all about luck today and being there in winter. I'm going to give you tips on how to get there, where to stay, what to do, where to eat, and where to ski on your ski trip. So let's go ahead and get started with a little bit of history. So Lek was actually founded or discovered or started in the 14th century by some immigrants from Switzerland. It's always been a farming village and for quite a while it was cut off from the rest of Austria because it is so far up the valley and sometimes in winter it was cut off for months on end. It's a beautiful town of 1500 people and some say it's one of the most beautiful towns in Austria in the summer. In winter, there are 400 to 500,000 nights of hotel rooms booked. That means lots and lots of tourists. So what is Lech like today in the winter? Well, it is lifestyles of the rich and famous. You can be a celebrity or a prince and go to Lech and nobody's going to care. It is a beautiful town. It's actually one of Princess Di's favorite places to have skied during her life. It is beautiful and tiny and the river Lech runs through it. It is absolutely spectacular. There are gorgeous hotels, gorgeous restaurants, Cool opera ski, not huge party life like Ishkul, but it is got a sexy vibe to it and a sophisticated vibe as well. So if you're looking for the princely lifestyle, then Lek might be the place for you to ski now. So where is Lek located and how do you get there? Lek is located 30 minutes up the valley and into the mountains from the town of St. Anton. It is part of the Vorarlberg region and it's part of the Allberg ski area. This particular ski area is over 300 kilometers of piece or runs and more than 200 kilometers of off-piece skiing. There's some beginner slopes, but it's known more for intermediate skiing as well as advanced and off-piece skiing. If you are looking for spectacular, one of the largest ski resorts in the world or ski areas in the world, then coming to this area is the perfect thing to do. You could ski all day long, every day, and possibly not ski the same run twice unless you're headed home. So how do you get to Lech? Well, it is about a 30 minute drive, bus ride, taxi, car, from the town of St. Anton. St. Anton is where you're going to find the train station and the major bus lines getting into St. Anton. A taxi up to Lech is about 60 euros. Taking the post bus, which is the local bus, is five euros 50 or um, having a private car, which is great. That is pretty much the only way to get there. There are also no airports into St. Anton. So if you're going to be flying in, you'll be flying into Innsbruck, which is about an hour and 15 minutes away. You'll be flying in from Munich, which is a couple, two and a half hours away, or you'll be flying in from Zurich in Switzerland, which is also about two hours away. From the closest airport to Lech, it is about an hour and 45 minutes, I would say, from the Innsbruck airport to Lech directly with a taxi, and it will cost you about 200 euros. So for me, I flew into Munich, and I flew on American Airlines for free. I paid my taxes, but I flew for free. How did I do it? I used my American Airlines credit card. You can go to the description below, Click the link to learn more about that credit card I used to travel for free. So once you've arrived in Lech, how do you get around? Well, it is such a small town, a town of 1,500 people with basically a few restaurants, hotels, and uh, après ski locations. So it's relatively easy to walk from one end of the town to the other in about 15 minutes. You can also take a local ski bus, which takes you around Lech, as well as the other towns of Zug, as well as the post bus that will take you back to St. Anton and St. Christoph as well or you can take a taxi. Again, taxis are quite expensive, uh, but they're relatively uh, available at all times. It just depends on the style of travel that you want to do. So how long should you stay and what time of year should you go? Well, if you're going for skiing, then I recommend going after sort of Thanksgiving time, late November through April. I was there in January and it was uh, there, they did need a little bit of snow, which was, really sad this year in Austria and across the Alps in general. I also suggest if you can and the weather is good and the snow is good going in January rather than February. February is a very busy time. Lots of holidays for Dutch, Germans, etc. And the Arlberg region and Lech is very, very busy in the month of February. Also busy all holidays. So just take note 
when you're going to be there. How long should you stay? I recommend staying a week. There is so much to do in the area, so much to see and ski and eat that spending a week, you don't even scratch the surface of all the things that there are to do in the area. So since it is part of the EU, you are on the Euro as far as currencies is, is concerned, and they speak German, but they do speak Austrian German, which is the dialect that I speak when I spoke German, having lived in kid school. I'm always asked, is it safe to be traveling there as a solo female traveler? Yes, Austria is extremely safe. Up there in the mountains, Lech is also extremely safe. It's relatively easy to meet people if you're traveling on your own as there are plenty of uh, bar tops uh, at the different restaurants and Opre Ski is very open and welcoming. So it's very easy to meet people and extremely, extremely safe. So now what to pack? The best thing to do is to pack warm clothes, dry clothes, wicking clothes. It is cold and you are in the mountains. Make sure that things uh, protect you from the wind as well. As far as ski clothes, get high quality ski clothes even if you have to borrow them. And if you're interested, I have a video on what to pack for skiing. I also have a download. You can go to the description below and click my download on everything you need to pack for going skiing. As far as the style in Lek, well, like is sophisticated and I typically wore um, nice Uggs or nice winter boots and I wore nice leggings and I typically wore a vest like this and just a shirt underneath with a nice wrap cap and my jacket. Um, I pray ski and dinner. Remember you are in the mountains, it's not super fancy, but if you want to put on some really nice earrings or something like that, it's always welcome. There are uh, Michelin quality restaurants as well and you know people don't dress up completely but in europe you can find people dressed just a little more sophisticated where to stay there are a couple of five-star hotels the hotel allberg which is right next to the lifts and the krona as well i stayed at the hotel plattenhof it is a four heart four star hotel it's actually a four and a half star or four superior hotel it was a wonderful stay. The everybody that works there was so kind and generous. They had a delicious breakfast every morning. And I actually did half board, which means that dinner was provided to me in the evenings. And it was typically a first, second course, uh, salad buffet as well as a dessert. All I had to do pay for extra was the alcohol that I had to drink. The Hotel Plattenhof is a wonderful, wonderful hotel. And if you decide to book with them, make sure to tell them that I sent you. So where to eat when you're in Lech? There are some incredible restaurants. And one that I really enjoyed was the Schneggerei, which is at the bottom of the mountain. And there are wonderful restaurants on the mountain as well. You know, eating in Europe on the mountain is not getting gross hamburgers and hot dogs at some of the resort owned properties. These are usually individually owned and they're beautiful, beautiful, delicious restaurants like the Rotevand, which is a delicious restaurant in Lech as well. You can also go up into Oberlech, which is the little town just above. You have to take the gondola about three minutes and there are some beautiful restaurants in the hotels there as well. There's not a ton of just regular restaurants. A lot of the restaurants that you will find are actually located inside the hotels. So get out there, find some delicious foods. Try the Kaiserschmarrn, which is a dessert. Try the apple strudel, which is also a dessert. Try the Chirola Grostel, which is a potatoes and pork and eggs, or try a schnitzel. Food in Austria is heavy and meaty. It's mountain food and it is absolutely delicious, so make sure to try the local delicacies. In addition to dinner restaurants, there are a couple of places I recommend to go to Opre Ski. One is the Krona Bar, where you can get lots of champagne right there at the bottom of the lifts. You can also go back to the Schneiderei, which I went to Opre Ski there, and I really enjoyed it. It is not as loud and rambunctious as Ischgl is, and it's not as crazy as like the Londoner in Kidsville. It's a more sophisticated, elegant Opre Ski, but it is still tons and tons of fun. There is nothing like skiing in Austria and do an opera ski it's just the best so what do things cost in lek well you can spend 120 euros or so a night for a pension or maybe 70 euros it is typically 200 to 300 euros a night to stay in a four star or four star superior hotel where you get access to half board so you they provide breakfast and dinner as well 
to get a coffee is about three euros. To buy lunch on the mountain is uh, a bowl of soup is maybe eight to 11 euros, a glass of wine. I went to Apreski and a glass of wine was six euros. A delicious Austrian Grunewald Liner was six euros. So by the time I was done, if I had been in the US, I would have spent over $100, whereas in Lech, I only spent about 35 euros. What a difference. Things to eat and drink. Yes, you can spend a lot of money, but you can also get by and spend not a ton while you're there. As far as skiing is concerned and what do things cost, it costs about 67 euros a day for a ski pass or a week ski pass is just at 400 euros. If you want to get a season pass for the Aalborg region, which includes Lech, St. Christoph, Zug, Zur, uh, Wart, all of the towns surrounding 400, 300 kilometers of on-piece, 200 kilometers of off-piece, that is around 950 euros for the entire season. Something I recommend is Sunday uh, in the morning, they have ski guiding. So if you are just arriving in Lek and you want to see the mountain, go to the ski school. It's 76 euros, I believe, and you can get a ski guide for the entire day. It's a group lesson and it's not actually a lesson. They're just taking you around the mountain and showing you all the different sites and ski lifts and different restaurants and places to eat and après ski on the mountain. So that's well worth it. As far as ski instructing, a three day group is about 375 euros and a one day private is around 450 euros. If you're a expert skier, then I recommend you getting a ski guide. So there's three level of ski instructors and then there's the guide or trainer level. Get one of those guys to take you off piste and show you all of the the amazing off-piece skiing that is available in the area. It's well worth the 450 euros for somebody to take you where you need to go. So let's talk a little bit about shopping. If you need to rent skis, I usually bring my own boots. If you have boots, bring them and then you can rent skis. The quality of ski rentals in Austria is phenomenal. Skis are about 31 euros a day. You might need to rent a helmet or you might need to rent boots. It depends. If you're going to do that, a couple of places I suggest in Lech. And one is Strolz, which is a very famous name in the area. Also, you can go to Intersport, which is a chain across all of Europe. They have good quality skis to rent as well. Regular shopping, there are a few high-end shops, but in general, there's not a ton of shopping to be done in Lech. There are a couple of beautiful stores. Strolz has a beautiful store. The Arlberg Hotel, which is a five-star hotel, has a couple of small shops as well. It's more boutique shopping than it is um, tchotchke or trinket or souvenir shopping. If you wanna do that, you might have to go to St. Anton. So if you're considering going to Austria skiing and you're not sure where to go, you can uh, check out my other videos about skiing in Austria, or you can reach out to me and do a consultation about going skiing in Austria or anywhere in the world. You can go to the link below to book a time with me. Please make sure to watch my packing guide on skiing and my other videos on skiing in general. And I am Kim, the Abundant Traveler, and I can't wait to see you on some incredible Austrian Alp very, very soon.